beautiful makers. Um, happy weekend. OMG, I'm so happy it's weekend. Uh, it is 2 p.m. <laughs> and I'm just now kind of starting the vlogmas day, so to speak. I had a wonderful slow morning of just sitting in my PJs and having coffee and getting caught up on a few things as well as knitting. And um, I'm just now kind of starting the vlogmas day, if you will. I'm leaving in about an hour and a half, or sorry, two and a half hours or so to go to the city. Um, I'm working tonight at the opera. It's the closing of Turndot, and um, I have to make my way through SantaCon, which if you are not familiar is in becoming an annual tradition in major cities to um, basically have a bunch of young 20-something drunk people dressed up as Santa go all throughout the city bar hopping. Probably would have been fun in my youth if it had been around, but now it's just an absolute traffic nightmare. So I'm going to be heading in early to get there before nighttime. I think by that time, people will just be literally stumbling around on the street, so it won't be too chaotic. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and have a bite to eat and just chill out and knit a little bit more. I owe you a check-in on my mitten, though. So I got a lot done last night before I went to bed early. My car is totally fixed. I'm so relieved. I had to have so much work done on it. So it's been quite stressful this week, to be honest. Um, but I'm so relieved to have it fixed and purring like a kitten again. And it's still, like, I was talking to my mom about it. Like, it's still like I can audibly hear some of the engine running and I realize it's because it's like a 13 14 year old car <laughs> and it's not you know one of those push button start cars it's not part electric or a hybrid or anything so it's old school style and it just sounds different than when I drive you know my mom or my sister's car so anyway I'm glad to have that done and I knit and then just fell asleep so I have a little story about this mitten. It is still with me. I did not mail it off because I got all the way to the end of the snowman color work. So there you go. And then that is the end of my white yarn, you guys. Yarn chicken fail. <laughs> So I still have to do all of this. I'll show you the picture. I still have to knit like basically from here down. So I am hoping, I'm going to go to Joanne's tomorrow. I decided, you know, not to go out to the wilderness until <laughs> I have to for work. But I'm going to go tomorrow and try to get some more of this. I have like this little scrappy piece here that I can bring with me and get the closest thing to this white acrylic yarn that I can so I can finish this puppy and then FedEx them out um, early next week. So, but that means, oh darn, I can knit on other things until I do that. <laughs> so I decided I just needed some easy TV like knitting, meaning I don't have to look at my knitting. So I started working on my Chewbacca socks. Let me grab them one. And um, I was knitting on them yesterday and I was like, oh, I love these so much. So I did quite a bit. So this is mustache yarns, mustache yarns. And this is a, let me get the tag here. Self-striping Star Wars edition from last year that I ordered. And it is a limited edition, two fugitives, a mercenary and a princess go into a bar. This is the Chewbacca version. Here's the labels, you can see it. And I love them. I'm gearing up for Star Wars next, for this coming week. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll be going to a midnight viewing, as you do, after singing Messiah, which has become a tradition. <laughs> 
And yeah, I think I'm gonna finish these up today. I think I'm gonna just knit until I really don't have a lot of yarn left. I'll have longer legs. We'll see if they'll go over my calves. I don't think I would get to the point where they'd be at my calves, but um, I'm doing two at a time, obviously. 2.5 millimeter needles. So I have talked in um, my last episode, I think, that I want to start going back to a 2.25 millimeter needle, US 1, because I've noticed that my gauge has loosened up the more that I knit and I've been starting to flick a little bit more. Um, and so, yeah, so these might be a little bit big on me, but I'm going to own it. Though They're perfect like boot socks, you know, like with my large boots. So I love them so much. I can't wait to wear them. So awesome. So I, my goal is to finish these up as much as possible today. So then I can cast on my Anders sweater, which I showed you all the other day. I'm going to wind up the yarn for that in a little bit after I eat some lunch, a really late lunch. And then I'm going to cast on this. This I didn't show the other day because I already told mom about it so I can show you. I'm going to cast this on for my mom for a pair of Christmas socks. And I really want to do the fairy lights pattern. So I think mom, this might be news to you, I'm going to do the fairy lights pattern for you by Helen Stewart. And in this gorgeous skate of yarn from Molly of a Homespun House. And this is in her um, Jingleberry colorway. Yeah, there's her little Merry Christmas. So yay! So I can't wait to cast some Christmas socks on because these are my Christmas socks and then I have still have to do my afterthought heel. I think I'll do that tomorrow. Um, just bite the bullet and do it. And I'll be sure to film all of it and share my experience. I have to do the afterthought heel on my gingerbread socks which are over there. I'll show you tomorrow. And um, I'm going to put mom's socks, these guys, in my favorite Christmas bag, which is from Little Skein and a Big Wool from last year, and it's in the Nutcracker theme, and I thought it would be perfect because Helen Stewart's knit vent is Nutcracker theme this year, so I think once this is cast on and I've got like the toes done, because I'm going to do two at a time, and I've got this like halfway done, the sweater for my nephew. Then, and it might not be until Christmas week, then I will cast on all of this beautifulness for the Land of Sweets cowl by Helen Stewart as well. And then after that, I have to get some worsted weight yarn because I'm going to test knit a sweater for Mina. So that is an update do, 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 on all my knitting. <laughs> it was like a little mini podcast. I'm going to go back to saying podcast, by the way. I've been trying really hard to say video cast. It just does not feel natural. Have any of you other podcasters, or other folks out there, even just listening to us try to say video cast, think it sounds weird? It sounds weird, right? So podcast. There you go. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to eat some lunch. And knit a little bit more and watch the crown which i don't recommend watching more than maybe three episodes in a row because you might become very emo which happened to me but it's so good so see you in a bit to the city. Stop and take a photo of this. Look how pretty it is. Another night at work. 
I'm gonna sign off here, so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.